This is a brief introduction to the idea of quantum mechanics. And the world that we have operated in previously to the modern science was classical, classical mechanics. And actually probably most of your assumptions and the world you know falls within, within classical ideas. But with modern science, we come into the idea of quantum mechanics. And what this next unit is going to hold is giving five examples from modern science of how we got to the idea of classical mechanics. So what quantum really says, or what classical says, is that everything's possible, any energy is possible, uh, and we can go for all those things. Where, but quantum says, hey, actually not everything is possible. Some energies, uh, some intensities are not possible and only certain things are allowed. So quantum tends to be what's called discrete or discontinuous. Classical tends to be, you could use the word continuous or everything. So I'm gonna go through these five examples really briefly, but when you're in lecture, you're gonna hear a lot more details about all these. So these are five ideas that led us to the concept of quantum mechanics. So first is atomic line spectra. Classically, we used to think that all wavelength, lambda, was available in light. So light carried all wavelengths. However, according to some atomic line spectra experiments, we find that each element is unique, and each element has certain wavelengths of light available in it, but not every wavelength. And in my class, we use this equation, which I call the Rydberg equation, to calculate that energy. And you'll see us use that in class. The second idea is that as wavelength decreases classically, we assume that we can reach any intensity possible. Uh, really, it doesn't matter. The intensity can increase indefinitely. And when some experiments were done on what's called black body radiation, what we discovered is that intensity actually has a maximum. We can't reach any intensity possible. There's a discontinuity or discontinuous nature to reality that we didn't realize before. The third concept that we'll discuss is the photoelectric effect. And in the photoelectric effect, prior actually to these experiments, we thought as energy is increased and intensity really increases, we can remove any number of electrons uh, from a sample. And as the energy goes up, the more electrons we can remove. Well, in reality, according to the photoelectric effect, we can only remove electrons when we reach a certain threshold energy and then the removal of electrons is possible above that energy. So really there's a discontinuity to the energy that we didn't expect before. And that's described by the photoelectric effect. The next concept, the fourth one, is we used to think that either something is a wave or it's a particle. It's one or the other, I mean, come on. But according to de Broglie, it can be both meaning that something can act as a wave uh, or a particle, that same entity. And that's kind of weird. It's not what we expected uh, before we kind of put things into its boxes. So, and Broglie uses an equation that looks like this. Lambda wavelength is place constant over mass times velocity that we'll use in class. The fifth idea that led us to quantum mechanics uh, is related to the call, what's called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. So we used to think for a particular object we can know both its position and its velocity or momentum at the same time and we can know those accurately. But actually what reality tells us and uh, according to the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle is that we can either know the position or the velocity accurately but we cannot know both accurately. So there's give and play, you can know one or the other, and that's described by this equation that we'll see in class. The uncertainty of position times the uncertainty in the momentum is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi, or Planck's constant over 4 pi. So these four ideas, which we'll go over, give us kind of an idea 
of a new reality in modern science called the quantum world. And uh, these are the five concepts. And on three of these, Atomic Line, De Broglie, and Heisenberg, we're going to do some uh, what will turn out to be relatively, relatively simple math calculations to determine some interesting variables.